Hey guys, Jules here for the third part of Wine and Cheeses. Hopefully you guys caught my first two. If you haven't, please go check out the white wines with cheeses, red wines with cheeses. Uh, as promised, this is uh, sweet wines and what cheeses to pair with it. Let's get right into it. Uh, as we talked about in the last two sessions, uh, rule of thumb, soft cheeses you want to pair with white wines, harder cheeses you want to pair with red, uh, then there's the cheeses like I have here in front of me, uh, the beautiful blue cheese and, and the gorgonzola here, the, the, the Italian uh, amazing creaminess. Uh, in Italian we like to call it the uh, puzzolende cheese because uh, it just reeks. Uh, these have been out for 5-10 minutes just to get them room temperature and the whole house smells. So <laughs> I'm, I'm slightly a fan. I'm still trying to get used to some of the blue cheeses, you know, the, the veined cheeses, in other words, the Stiltons and, and so on. Uh, if you're a fan of the blue cheeses, uh, this is a need to know of what to pair with it. Uh, the rule of thumb here is the pungency, uh, the, the way the cheeses have been aged, uh, the veins and, and how they come across. Uh, those flavors are going to be very, very harsh and creamy. Uh, people love that. Uh, what you want to do is stay away from white wines, stay away from red wines. It will just make the wine taste even worse. The flavors will just be all over the place. You really won't enjoy that experience. Uh, what we recommend with uh, uh, cheeses like this is the, the lineup I have for you here. Uh, they vary. I'm going to go through them. Uh, quickly enough hopefully you get an idea uh, in the end uh, what you need to know is with the blue cheese and the stiltons and the vein cheeses because of how pungent they are you want to pair it with a sweeter wine that's it uh, you don't have to be an expert uh, so we'll quickly go through what I have here uh, what I'm tasting right here is an aged white uh, port wine from Taylor Flatgate we talked about this in some of the episodes in the past uh, it's it's going to obviously have higher alcohol content, the you know caramel apricot, but essentially the sweetness is going to come across. It's going to balance very well with the pungency of the cheese. Uh, this is a great choice. It could be white, it could be red port, ruby port, tawny port, uh, colietta, uh, you name it, whatever you find and, and, and enjoy. Uh, great choice, amazing choice with blue cheese and gargonzola. Uh, this is my first go-to right here. Uh, the second choice, uh, what I have here is a uh, Pasito de Pantelleria. So it's basically, I picked this up actually in Sicily. I, I'm excited. I'm going to open this soon. Uh, but it's an aged, it's great. It's a Moscato uh, grape that is aged in the sun, dried out, very rich, concentrated, uh, apricot, honey. Uh, this thing is spectacular again on the higher sweeter side not like a nice wine not the same process uh it's not going to be as sweet and and and, and syrupy uh, but however it's going to be very flavorful and sweet on the palate great for these cheeses uh the obvious if you're going to spend a little bit more i have the barsac and the sauterne uh from the bordeaux region these are aged wines from the Semillon grape if i'm not mistaken uh, these are aged uh, again honey honeysuckle this is just uh, it's going to scream beautiful sweetness flavors right here uh, gorgeous with these cheeses uh, if you have some of these actually they weren't they weren't too bad some of these weren't too bad maybe the, the Grand Cru Class A was a little bit more pricier uh, they are smaller smaller bottles as you can see uh, I, I usually like to you know, say the uh, the smaller packages are, are they pack with flavor, but they cost much higher. So uh, these were more expensive. If you can splurge, uh, by all means, please do so. Uh, Barsac is a region in, in the Bordeaux area. The same with Sauterne, uh, the wine. Uh, so great choices as well. Uh, one of my other f favorites is a Vinsanto. So from Italy, is the process of the sweeter wines, this particular process that is produced with grape variety. Again, it's going to be sweeter, uh, gorgeous flavors, uh, gorgeous uh, stone fruit as well. Uh, the sweetness with it. And these are all different. Like I, if you can uh, pair these cheeses with at least two different types of sweeter 
uh, wines, please do so. It'll give it'll give people a different idea of of what what they can expect in terms of pairing. So if you can do that, please do so. If not, uh, start with uh, the port wine. It's a great choice. Uh, another uh, great choice. Again, what you're after here is the sweetness, right? So what I also like is some people like Moscato. Uh, wine, which is a much sweeter wine, great choice with this as well. Uh, personally, a, a re, um, medium Riesling can do it as well. Uh, Gorstraminer as well, as long as there's there's some sugar, residual sugar content, uh, and try those. I, I mean, you know, Moscato, port wine, um, uh, Riesling, a little bit sweeter, and then if you can splurge, go on these some of these these other uh, great choices out there. There's plenty of other uh, fortified wines or, or wines that are produced with much higher uh, um, sugar content. Uh, they will all work perfectly. They will give you different feelings. Um, and like I said, if you can do it, try at least two when you're pairing with Gorgonzola. Uh, amazing. Um, so, I mean, that is pretty much sums it up. This is the quicker of the three episodes. So again, to recap very quickly, uh, if you're going to do soft cheeses, white wines, harder cheeses, red wines, uh, and if you're going to do the pungent, uh, go with the sweeter wines. Um, you will, you know, in the end, you know, I talked about having two reds. If you're going to do a charcuterie board with mixed cheeses, two reds, two whites, throw in a port and uh, you'll be good. However, just be aware uh, as soon as you're, as soon as you start uh, going to the sugary or more uh, um, sweet wines, uh, going down back to a red or a white will just uh, make the wines taste sour. So always finish uh, the Gorgonzola Blue Sweet choices. I think this is a dessert offering here. Um, so that's why I typically like to keep the, the, the veined cheeses out of uh, my charcuterie board because uh, they're a little bit more difficult to pair and I know they pair easily with sweeter wines and I don't want to introduce sweeter wines to uh, everyone until maybe after the meal. Uh, whereas you can introduce the softer cheeses and the harder cheeses, the red and white wines before the meal. So think about that uh, as well with this, which is really, really good and goes really, really well. If you want to throw in some chocolate in here, if you want to throw in some uh, sweet cherries, uh, again, sweet, sweet, sweet. You see where I'm going. Uh, what you're going to do with the cheeses, you're going to counteract the flavors here. What you're going to do with the uh, the chocolates and the dessert and the cheesecake, you're going to match the sweetness. So it's beautiful all around. So again, this for me is a dessert dish. Uh, and throwing in some dessert and cupcakes, cannoli. This is probably my favorite. Throw in some cannolis. However, be aware of the cannoli has soft ricotta cheese. And as we talked about in the white uh, uh, wine episode, uh, ricotta is, is, is better paired with a white wine. However, give it a try because you still have the sweetness uh, and pairing with the sweeter wines here. So hopefully that gives you some good insight. Uh, I think that though for those three episodes will give you a good roundabout uh, uh, charcuterie board. Um, I know we can't gather for this holiday season. Uh, however, uh, you're sharing it with your immediate family in the household. Uh, please send me your charcuterie board pics. I would love to see uh, what you guys come up with, your creativity, what wines you decided to pair with. If you need some suggestions, uh, please DM me. I'll be more than glad to uh, recommend some of the cheeses and the wines that you can't go wrong uh, and, and hopefully will make your uh, uh, somewhat uh, reduced capacity uh, holidays uh, a success. So uh, in the end, it's all about family So and, and good food. So hopefully guy, you guys enjoyed this. Uh, but that's pretty much it. So again, Jules here from Behind the Cork. Please share. Uh, send me your thoughts. If uh, you have a particular cheese and wine pairing that you uh, want to share, do so. I'll be glad to provide my comments. Uh, and until next time, uh, cheers.